Have you ever found yourself nostalgically drawn back to a simpler time where family dynamics took center stage in a suburban setting? Leave it to Beaver did just that, captivating audiences with its wholesome portrayal of the Cleaver family and their everyday adventures. This 1957 TV series, set in the post-war era, captured the essence of American family life, offering a lens into the challenges and joys faced by its characters. The show's charm lay in its reliability it mirrored the trials and triumphs of ordinary family life. Wally and Beaver, the two brothers navigating childhood, and their parents, Ward and June Cleaver, formed the heart of this series. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to strike a chord with viewers of all ages and generations, evoking memories and emotions tied to our own family experiences. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this series, a moment where an episode's storyline resonated deeply or mirrored a slice of your own life. The Cleavers might have felt like an extension of your own family, making you laugh, reflect, or even learn a valuable life lesson. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series? Share your thoughts and nostalgia with us. And now, a few random facts about the show to spark your memory or curiosity. Leave It to Beaver was one of the first American sitcoms to focus on a child's point of view and ran for six seasons, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Your stories and reminiscences about this classic TV show are eagerly awaited in the comments section below. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Leave It to Beaver together. Leave It to Beaver emerged in the late 1950s as an emblematic portrayal of American suburban life. This iconic TV series revolved around the Cleaver family, anchored by the misadventures of young Theodore Beaver Cleaver. Set in the idyllic town of Mayfield, the show captured the essence of post-war America, emphasizing family values, everyday challenges, and the innocence of childhood. The characters were quintessential archetypes the affable and wise father figure, Ward Cleaver, the nurturing and caring mother, June Cleaver, the mischievous yet endearing beaver, and his responsible and sometimes protective older brother, Wally. Each episode deftly tackled relatable situations faced by families, often resolving conflicts through heartwarming lessons. Its enduring impact on popular culture persists through catchphrases like G. Wally and the portrayal of an idealized suburban life, influencing subsequent TV shows and becoming a cultural touchstone for family-oriented entertainment. Its timeless themes of growing up, Familial bonds and life's everyday hurdles continue to resonate with audiences, solidifying its place in television history. Jerry Mathers, who portrayed Beaver, landed the role with an unexpected charm. During his audition, he arrived in his Cub Scout uniform and candidly expressed his eagerness to attend his den meeting. This innocent sincerity won over the casting directors, leading to his casting in the titular role. His genuine demeanor as a young Cub Scout resonated with the producers, setting the stage for the series' iconic portrayal of childhood innocence and relatable family dynamics. This enduring beginning laid the foundation for the show's enduring impact on American television, solidifying its place in cultural history as a beloved family-oriented series. Ward Cleaver's character had a lasting impact on the series. In Still the Beaver, it was revealed that Ward Cleaver passed away in 1977. His role as the affable and wise father figure resonated with audiences, shaping the show's portrayal of family values. Ward's absence in later renditions of the series highlighted the significance of his character in the Cleaver family dynamic. Additionally, Edgar Buchanan, known for his role in Leave it to Beaver, Captain Jack, later returned to the series as Wally and Beaver's Uncle Billy. His versatile portrayal across different characters added depth to the familial relationships within the show. Moreover, the specific car models driven by Wally, Eddie, and Lumpy Wally's 1953 Chevrolet Bel Air convertible, Eddie's 1947 Dodge, and Lumpy's 1940 Ford convertible reflected the era's automobile culture, showcasing distinct styles and preferences among the characters. These elements contributed to the multifaceted portrayal of the Cleaver family's world, adding layers to the series' nostalgic charm. The debut of the show coincided with the launch of Sputnik, marking its start amidst a significant global event. Its subtle humor was intentional, aiming for chuckles over big laughs, as Tony Dow mentioned. 
Interestingly, despite the two houses known in the series, there was actually a third earlier house, revealed in an episode where Beaver talks about having measles there. These unique insights shed light on the show's inception, and its deliberate approach to humor, creating a distinct charm that resonated with audiences. The pilot episode of the show aired on April 23, 1957, titled Studio 57. It's a small world. Surprisingly, it lacked a laugh track or opening, closing themes, a departure from the series' eventual style. Interestingly, it never aired within the actual series. Max Scholter played Ward Cleaver, but the role of Wally was initially taken by Paul Sullivan, who had to be replaced due to a sudden growth spurt. The transition to Tony Dow's portrayal as Wally was seamless. This initial pilot episode set a unique tone for what would become a beloved portrayal of American suburban life, highlighting the show's evolution and casting challenges. The behind-the-scenes adjustments laid the groundwork for the eventual success of the series, contributing to its lasting impact on television history. Jerry Weil, who played Judy Hensler, faced an unexpected departure from the show due to rapid changes in her appearance. Puberty arrived swiftly, and when the wardrobe department's solutions clashed with her comfort, she chose a different path. Transitioning away from acting, she found success in real estate, occasionally reconnecting with former co-stars like Jerry Mathers and Tony Dow. A significant reunion happened during an autograph signing event, and after 27 years away, she made a brief return to acting in the new Leave It to Beaver, The Bruise Brothers. Her journey showcases the unique challenges child actors faced, and their divergent paths post-show. The pilot episode of this iconic show faced a curious fate lost for years, only to resurface in 1987. Its rediscovery brought to light a piece of television history, showcasing the beginnings of a series that became a cultural touchstone. This find offered a rare glimpse into the show's early stages, allowing fans and critics alike to witness its evolution. Such revelations provide a fascinating lens into the creation and journey of this beloved family-oriented series. The unearthing of this initial episode became a pivotal moment, shedding light on the show's origins and the path it eventually paved in television history. The discovery of this lost gem granted enthusiasts a unique opportunity to delve deeper into the roots of the Cleaver family's world. As our journey through the bygone tales of a quintessential show draws to a close, it's time to ponder the impact it's had on the fabric of our memories. The quaint streets, the family dynamics, and the innocence wrapped within each episode, these elements continue to echo through the corridors of time, striking chords within us. Perhaps it's those relatable family moments that mirror our own experiences or the sheer nostalgia that takes us back to a simpler era. Regardless, the resonance of this timeless show often stirs a treasure trove of personal anecdotes and reflections. Now, take a moment. Think about the anecdotes that tug at your heartstrings or the characters whose antics stayed with you. Share those cherished moments that made you smile, ponder, or even rethink aspects of your own life. It's in these exchanges that the magic of such classic tales truly thrives when shared experiences weave a tapestry of collective nostalgia. Thank you for joining in this walk down memory lane, for lending your thoughts, and adding depth to the enduring legacy of a cherished show. Your presence and stories make this journey all the more enriching. Here's to the cherished memories and the heartfelt connections. Your participation adds a unique hue to the canvas of reminiscence.